Okay, in the second section of this lesson, we'll be looking at the research details. The research details are most of the second division and therefore are very easy to find. Sometimes you can identify them just based on the section titles without even looking through the text. In IMRD, in the methods division, that's relatively low importance and, and so it's often found at the end of the article or even online in, in certain journals. On the other hand, this is the most important part of the IPTC model and therefore the, the central contribution and makes up most of the, uh, the paper. So in IMRD, it's often written in a very condensed style because this material is already familiar. We don't need to spend a lot of time on it. Whereas in IPTC, it's written in an extended style because it's new for everybody. And that means that there are often summary paragraphs, topic sentences, other techniques that make it easier for the, the reader. So we'll talk about uh, styles in, in chapter nine, but if you're interested, you can look ahead at that. We'll also briefly mention component six, the, the testing methods, because we'll find that in the second division in, in IMRD, often in the last subsection. But in IPTC, again, that occurs usually in the testing division, and so we'll talk about it for those articles next week. Okay, now we're going to look at our IMRD article in chemical engineering. Remember that uh, because this is IMRD, the framework is found in the introduction. We talked about that the last time. So here we'll be looking at the research details and the testing methods, which are found in the second division here. Okay, so we can know that this is a second division and it's called experimental procedure. And now we can see that there are three research details. 2.1, 2.2, and 2.3. Okay, now how did you know that those are research details? Because um, we can see that there are specific words mm -hmm. that we can see that this is the material that they are using, mm -hmm. they listed, mm -hmm. and so they listed the material and how did they do it, and this is all the, the procedure, mm -hmm. and we can see the numbers here, this, this is all the parameters mm -hmm. and these parameters here that is related to the next two paragraph mm -hmm. paragraph here and now we can see that in the second and the third paragraph the topic is all at the first paragraph uh, the first sentence of the paragraph mm -hmm. we can see that the two layer graded also are fabricated through and here we can see the three layer graded are fabricated through that, that they are the same word. Okay, so things like preparation of the electrodes, preparation, fabrication, those are all words that talk about doing something and therefore help you to identify that as the method. Yes, and we can see that although this is a topic sentence of the paragraph, mm -hmm. and this is all the per per parameter, mm -hmm. and this is how they count. Mm -hmm. how they calculate, they count the, the parameters, and this is all the, that, the traditional way that they do in this field. Right, mm -hmm. okay. And then you also have in, in here the, uh, the testing methods, right? Yes, and for the, the fourth and the fifth, and the fifth paragraph is the testing method. Mm -hmm. So, the testing method is that it is like microstructure characterization is like the materials characterizations. Mm -hmm. so, so again, anytime you see characterization, mm. that's talking about making sure that you have that material. Yes. You yes. make sure means that you have to do a test in order to make sure. Yes, we have to make the test to ensure that the research details up here is workable. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Good. And then the, the last one, what were the keywords in, in the last one there? So the keyword here is that so the material has to be using on in application. Mm -hmm. So the application that we ha so we have to test that if this material is suitable for this application. So we have to use different testing methods 
to make sure. So in this part, we are testing the battery. Mm -hmm. So when we have to make application on the battery, we have to test the electrochemical characterizations. Mm -hmm. It is this different from the material characterizations. Mm -hmm. Yes. So in, in here, the test, the experiment here, that this is here, is all about the electrochemical characterizations, mm -hmm. not for other applications. Mm -hmm. Yes. So typically uh, in chemical engineering, you have characterization of the material and then you have a test of it in, in its application. And often you can tell that just from the titles of the subsections. Yes, it's really, really simple. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, good. Okay, now we'll look uh, for the research details in the mechanical engineering article. Okay, continue from the framework components. We start by 2.2 two two subsection, is sliding mode function and controller design. Okay. Uh, as I have, I like here maybe three to four uh, part. So these three to four, they will uh, state, and then we have uh, proposed the some or employ some method to do some uh, particular purpose. For example, this one, the nominal system is going using the sliding mode control. This, uh, this means the sliding mode control they have uh, employ to do some. Uh, to obtain the nominal system and for the this paragraph is the same and we also have the other types like uh, this one they use tiling to mention this is the list also the research detail so uh in this division uh sorry in this components the keyword for the research detail they try to point out that they want to do some uh particular Go, for example, in order to deal with some problem, and the other type is they try to use some special keyword like the theorem or the lemma or some some keyword like the mathematician do. Okay, so anytime that you see theorem, proof, lemma, you know that that's uh, the research detail. That's a research details. It's the mathematics, and then the previous one that you showed there. Uh, where it, it talks about the the control, that was the research goal. So if you go back to the research goal and you see that this part is related to the integral sliding mode controller and S S O M S M controller, then you know that this part must be the, the research details because it talks about the research goal and how they're accomplishing that. Okay, now we'll look for the research details in our electrical engineering article. Uh, so for the research detail in this article, uh, at the beginning of uh, the subsection 3B, they will mention about the construction of dependent graph. So they, this is uh, actually their work to build up their from, from the framework. And but but again, as we talked about before, the the framework ends in the middle of a section. Yeah. So, so it would be easier to understand perhaps if if there was a separate section break there, but that's not how they do it. They're doing it sort of by topic rather than by the components as we've outlined them. Yeah. And here is uh they say they they construct the DG graph. Uh, and also in this session, they uh, we derive and propose, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So there are lots of markers here that say we are doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is on in the end of this uh, session is will be related to the research detail. Mm -hmm. uh. Yeah. So the research details are are generally fairly easy to find. Yeah. You have all this new math, uh, new algorithms. That, that mark those pretty clearly. Yeah. Lots and lots of pages yeah. there. Now we'll show you how to make the tables uh, that are, are found in exercise 5.1, showing the components in the second division. Hello, this is my method division component table of my exemplar article in chemical engineering field. As we can see that I have shown everyone how I found the component. So now we can look at the structure. As we can see that there are five sections in my method division and three sections for research details 
and two section protesting methods. And each section, the writer only used one paragraph to express. So as we can see that in method division, that there's not too much to mention inside. And so for the testing methods, that the teacher will explain the detailed meanings in the next lessons. For my mechanical engineering article, this is table some likes the components marker for framework at research detail. Let us talk about the framework first and then research detail. As you can see, at the first components markers, they contain reference 35 here. And this try to indicate that they refer to the, the past research. And this is show show you all that this is framework components. And uh, for the uh, research detail components. We have two types of the components marker. The first one is from the second components marker here up to the one, two, three, four, up to the fifth component marker here. Uh, this try to show you that this component marker are steps in order to solve or achieve some particular problems or goals. And for the second type, they try to use the some some work right the theorem or lemma and these two is a communist marker to show that uh, from from here they will show the mathemat mathematical model or some proof to prove that the proposed method are will work really well. Hi, this is a table summary about the component marker in electrical engineering article. And as you can see in this table, we have list about the component needs framework research detail. In the subsection 2A from paragraph 1 to 5, it will be related to the component needs. In the subsection 2B is and 2B with paragraph Two, one and two is will be focused on the frameworks and subsection two B is will be talk about the research goal as you can see uh, we can find this list. we propose something and in the subsection to see with paragraph one and two they also focus on the framework and this is the uh, um, subsection 3A also and from subsection 3B to subsection 6D is will be focused on the research detail. But in the session 5 and 6, they have two subsessions 5C and 6D is will be talk about the testing division. We will focus on it in next lesson. Okay, so today we we're looking at the research details and the framework. Now, the research details are relatively easy to find because that's all the, the details of, of what they're doing. But the framework is sometimes hard to separate from both the need and the research details. So let's talk a little bit about some things that helped you to find that. Okay, let me talk first. Uh, in my case, uh, the communist marker for my framework is just a keyword like adopt from the 35 is mean the reference. So is that mean that communist marker try to refer to the past research or previous research? So this one is really clear, but I have a, another way to make sure that is to look at the research goal. Mm -hmm. Because research goal, they will talk that what is the new part in that paper. Mm -hmm. So is that mean when you find a uh, process division and then you can uh, distinguish the this is a detail by the research goal. And then the other part excludes the uh, research detail. That is the framework. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was sort of the same in, in yours. You had to go back to the research goal yes. to figure out what was framework and, and what was the details of that research. Can you? Yeah, so it's, it's always related to its current work. And we, we look at the previous work and maybe we can find a limitation of that's work and current work is will be built up from the previous work. So it's, that's called a framework. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so again, in yours, they, they sort of mix the need in, and, and then the framework and, and then the, the, the research details. Yeah. Um, there wasn't a clear division by section, it was like by subsection. 
Um, so you had to go back to the research goal to figure out this is where the, the details of their current work begin. Yeah. And then what's that based on? And then there were keywords like however that, that mark the need. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in yours, it was totally different because it's IMRD. Yeah. So in IMRD, when I'm finding the framework, first I'll find the research goal because the research goal, they always appeared in the last part of the introduction. So when I find a research goal, I will, I will go backward. So the backward and I will see the, the citations. So I will check if the last citation is a framework. Mm -hmm. So as I check, if all of the citations in the introduction, the last citation is the most related mm -hmm. to the research goal. So I will define it like this is the framework of this article. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, because pre previous to that, it talked about the limitations. However, yes. nevertheless, other markers but then there's one which is has less limitations and seems to be what what they build on. So that's again the framework, um, and that's more common in the IMRD f framework or yes. the IMRD format. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, hopefully that will help uh, people to to find the framework and identify the other components here in this division. Okay. Now it's time for you to do the work to look and determine the components in the second division of your exemplar article, trying to identify the main point of each paragraph, as we did in, in the previous lesson. But here, in order to find the component markers, you may not need to look at every single paragraph. It may be sufficient to look at the division titles. Pay particular attention to where there's a change from where it talks about the framework to where it talks about the research details uh, for this experiment and then summarize that information in a table similar to those that we've shown you in this lesson.